All right, everyone, welcome back to Central Coast Disc Golf. This is the final nine holes from the Innova Open at the 28th annual Texas State Disc Golf Championship. Nate Perkins joined here with the ninth ranked player in the world, Holland Handley. You're just three strokes yeah. off of Cy Ananda. Me and Owen Scoggins, man, we're hanging in there three off of the lead with nine holes to play. Ooh, it's going to be a good one. It's going to be a really good one. <laughs> and we're just flying over the greens by you right there, and we had a good look at the bridge. How cool is that bridge? It's that like the bridge is sick. It holds an insane number of people. Yeah, it's 360 feet long. It's like one of the defining features of this park, of this massive park in the middle of a metropolitan area it's a really cool place that we've arrived for this silver series yeah pretty sweet place and a little bit shorter than that bridge is hole 10 par 3 345 feet to this crazy elevated mound and so here i'll be trying to go up this forehand line on the left side and oh, <laughs> hands on the head entirely too low yeah entirely too low and too wide not what i was going for at all and then owen's going to show us this backhand line it's a little high she gets through most of it really the key to hitting that backhand line is hitting something low that's going to skip but get kind of a forward skip side just tags kind of one of the middle trees This is the line you're looking for. Really good height. Straight skip. And she got a great skip. And what are you left with after hitting the shot? You're left with a 40 foot putt. A terrifying 40 foot putt. If you miss that putt, you are rolling and you will have a minimum circle's edge putt for your comebacker. Which is why from where I'm at, oh. I'm kind of trying to ring that one up a little bit knowing that worst case scenario, I'm going to roll right to circle's edge, which is about the same as if I had laid it up. <laughs> <laughs> I like that thought process there. And we see Sai kind of the opposite of what I was thinking. She opts to just lay it up to the circle's edge, not mm. messing with that hill at all. I'm surprised to see that one. You, I would kind of expect her to at least throw it into the mound and maybe try and get up and down from back there. Yeah, she may be thinking, you know, she's been hitting lots of circle's edge putts all weekend. Maybe she's wanting to run that, or maybe she's just conceding the bogey knowing that I'm not in a good position and now seeing that Owen's not in a good position and just hoping that she can hold on to her lead even with a bogey. That's stone cold Owen right there. Oh yeah. And um, Kristen lays this it. one up. Kind of surprised being four back, but... I mean, that just tells you how hard this hole this putt actually is because Kristen's one of the most confident putters on tour and she's laying it up knowing mm -hmm. that she's that far back but she also may be betting that size just gonna lay up which she does and just is kind of conceding that bogey and she's thinking you know I'm gonna get a stroke anyway let's not get greedy Owen's thinking about this one <laughs> oh my gosh we oh. gotta run that back she hands the towel to justin lines it up and just sinks it i mean that's probably the furthest putt made on this basket oh it has to be i mean that was super bold and i just quickly laid mine up i i saw that putt from own and i was like almost thinking of it and i was like i'm gonna lay this up before i get any silly ideas <laughs> What a highlight right there. And I mean, that was a big putt. She's picking up a stroke mm -hmm. on both you and Sai. Yeah, only two back. And we've oh, now only yes. got eight holes to go. No way. 
I mean, not that many rotations. No, and just really. an, an inch lower, and that was going to scoop off the cage and roll all the way back down the hill. Hole 11, par 4, 630 feet. You've got all the room in the world to work with. There is OB on the left side by the cart path, and if you manage to go far enough right, there's OB over there too, but really, whatever distance line you want to throw out into the middle of this field, and then you are left with an approach into a very similar green to what we just saw on hole 10. I would say this mound might actually be a little bit bigger, certainly a little bit wider, um, but basically the same thing as the last hole. If you miss that putt, you will roll and you will have at least a 30 foot comebacker. And if you happen to roll on the right side of the mound, there's a good chance you go a beat. Mm. Kind of interesting, all these flat putts and then all of a sudden just two of the hardest putts that you're going to ever have. I know, it's almost too risky. Like mm -hmm. we saw Own just cash that putt back there, but I think very few women are actually trying to make that putt. There's almost yeah. this like unspoken agreement to just give that stroke back to the course. Mm. Interesting. And that was a great shot from Own. She's getting all of that distance with that destroyer. And I, I actually wanted to add that whole 10 didn't see one birdie all weekend. All weekend. That's crazy. And not surprising at all. And here on the 11th, this is the hardest hole on the course. Yeah, that, that doesn't surprise me one bit. I wonder if maybe a few more people are running it with this being the last day. We saw a really great shot from Kristen. I try to go for that big distance line again. Um, but I just kind of overturned that into those trees on the right side. Oh, I like that a lot. This is that enforcer. She's so light on her feet. Yeah, I love how she started that turning out of the hand just slightly, mm -hmm. never bringing OB left into play, but getting a really nice controlled distance. What do you think about this um, kind of barefoot shoe movement that's kind of taken over the disc golf? Scene. Oh yeah, I'm all for a zero, good zero drop shoe. Nice. I'm actually I'm sporting Lems myself. They're okay. what is it? Lems, L E M S. All right, I haven't heard of those. Have to check them out. Yeah, definitely. Kind of no zero drop. Zero drop. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I saw Sai was wearing zero X E R O. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think Ella wears those too. I'm okay. Sure. Yeah, yeah. She does. Yeah own and myself both go into the sidearm approach you can kind of skip one up the left side of the mound it kind of ramps up a little bit if you go that route it gives you kind of an outside chance of maybe getting up the mound and getting a look for birdie but we're both down there with Sai, not really in an easy putt range we see Kristen. i think that's her harp and she's trying to kind of land one soft on the mound but fades out early Oh, not going to push her luck and go for another one. I was teasing her about this one a little bit, but she smartly lays that up. Oh, and what about you? Come on. Oh, I want no part of that. Oh, I'm even nervous on the layup a bit, huh? <laughs> a little bit. For I sure. mean, even in practice, there were times where I went for the layup and kind of hit the slanted part, that rounded part, and it just stands up and rolls down. <sighs> I made that decision. I, I played on these greens a bunch in practice, and I made the decision very early on that I was just going to lay them up unless I'm on the actual hill. And Sai does the same. Whole card will be tapping in pars. And we got to give a shout out to Jessica Weiss carding the lone birdie three here on the eleventh. Oh, that's a that's a good get. We didn't give him a highlight putt, so we get a slow mo of my little, <laughs> little eight footer. <laughs> All right, moving on to hole number 12, par four, 465 feet. You want to throw something through this initial gap between these trees. Uh, the drone is showing us the inside line, so you can throw either a late flipping turnover or a sidearm. 
try to skip it down this hill. Ideally, you get right of this trash can. And then you've got a couple little gaps to choose from uh, to skip something up this little side hill. There is another route if you want to go wide uh, left side. And then if you can get past all of those trees, you'll have just a straight shot into the green. There is an OB line both left and right uh, that can come into play. So we went from the hardest hole on the course to the easiest hole on the course. Yeah, I mean, it's only 465 feet. You really don't need to get a ton of distance. You just need to pick the route you're going to go and commit to it. And own. <laughs> that, that is got, wild. That got so much skip for how much Anheuser it had. It did. I agree. I hit a jump pad out there. Yeah, and Kristen, uh, that's lower than she wanted but she catches just enough edge to kind of hit the the start of that inside gap i'm gonna go the same route just need a nice flare skip and then Sai's gonna show us the backhand line oh it's just been a treat to watch her spin the disc and she's actually gone far enough straight with that fell in there oh nice <laughs> she's so she cool is. yeah she's maybe calming down a little bit we're starting to see some more of her personality shine through and what a great shot from Kristen she was a little far back from where you want to be but she laces that gap beautifully and she's in the circle for a birdie putt yeah, I mean, look what you have if you just go straight off the tee here. Yeah, I mean, you, you do risk that left side OB. It's kind of slanting towards the green. But then if you pull it off, you're left with this very easy approach. Simple. Not easy. Simple. And Owen going back to that rock three puts a nice turn on it. Yeah, using the little slope right there. Slow the disc down. Yeah, if you can kind of catch the edge just right, it'll skip right up that hill. Zone's been a good disc for you, huh? Oh, Zone's probably one of my favorite discs, especially that nice puddle top ESP zone. Nice. Yeah. Great putt from Owen. A little scary staring at the downhill. If she sails that, she's got a nice long comebacker. Then you got Kristen putting up the hill. No problem. Looking at a star frame. Yep, still gonna take my time, go through the full routine. And that's a star frame. Well done. I mean, you would hope you get a star frame on the easiest hole in the course. Yeah, lead card, final round, battling for the victory and for points every point matters it's every getting harder point. and harder each year yeah every point matters and i mean these silver events are almost as competitive as the elite series we get a little check-in on our leaderboard size still got a two-stroke lead but lots of us trying to chase her down We've got a par three, 315 feet. Again, multiple options here. If you want to take the backhand line, you can throw just a nice straight shot. Your straightest flying disc hit this initial gap. There's also a sidearm line if you want to swing it left of these trees. 
and then play the hard pack ground skipping towards the basket. On going the flex route, really great width. Would you say this is kind of like her, this is like the upper end of her distance? Uh, yeah, I've, 315, I, I've seen her get out to 330, 340 if she yeah. needs to, but, um, <laughs> and Kristen flashing the chains a little bit. I do feel this, this whole place a little for, it feels a little further than 315. Okay. You're going Raptor here? Yeah, going with my green Missy Gannon Raptor. Oh, nice width there and off off of Owen's disc. Yeah, and then I didn't actually know that I that's what happened. That. That's kind of crazy. Thanks, Owen. And Sai's going to show us the backhand line. She needs this to hit something. <laughs> Whew, little All tree right. love. That doesn't hurt. That doesn't hurt. That was going deep. Yeah, that was going to be at least a 50 footer if it yep. didn't hit that tree. So that, that was Sai that said, yeah, own that time. Okay. Okay. It might've been Sai earlier. Okay. Okay. Although I, own does hype herself. She does call it before I can see it's it. in the chains. This is a, this is a tester right here. 24 feet. Yeah. I mean, everyone's kind of in position to birdie. She bangs it, handles the pressure just fine, maintains a two-stroke lead over own. Are we going to go back-to-back -back star frame here? I mean, it's looking like you it. You guys are heating up. Yeah. I mean, lead card doing lead card things today. Shout out to Ian Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it's appropriate to use, right, his sayings on it, Central Coast. It is. Of course. It is. So Sai had Oh, you're doing had, it solo. Are she, they coming back in for it? Yeah, Cy, all of them. <laughs> yes. Sai had remarked on the last hole that we forgot to shake the chains, and so when I went in there, I was like, "Okay, I'm the last putt. I'm gonna make sure I remember for." At this point, you know, we were all had a couple birdies under our belt. We got past holes ten and eleven, starting to have a good time on the card. Hole 14, par four, 513 feet. I actually really like this hole. So you don't, you have this dog leg to the right, but you don't want to bite off distance off the tee. You really want to just place it about here where the drone's flying at the corner and then get the distance on the second shot. And so it really calls for a controlled forehand or a short putter turnover backhand. own going flex with that really overstable destroyer that'll be a really good spot a little high but i think it covering enough ground oh certainly covering enough yeah. there with that rive yeah if you've got Kristen's power you kind of want to go high to really control the distance like a good shot is one that looks like it's sawed off mm, this looks like it's sawed off but and it's, it's good. It's right where you want to be. Nice. Were, were you at all worried? That one, it kind of looked tight from the yeah, tee's I, perspective. Yeah, I did see it tickle a, a branch, but I could actually kind of see through the leaves, and I saw that it landed just fine. That's a great shot from Sai. That's a that's a tricky backhand. You really you can't let the disc fade out at all. Oh no, this is trouble. Oh man. Who? That what? caught just what? A, an inch lower and that was cut rolling so far from the pin, but. What a roller coaster right there. It looked was, like it was cut rolling and then it any skip and it cut back in. That's a big time. Yeah. That matters a lot. And here's another great turnover. Mm. Wow. There's that mace again and that, it's showing her skills with the backhand i mean the turnover off the tee and then controlling that that 
mid range into yeah. the green there. Yeah, this is a hard hole if you don't have a sidearm and, and size making it look easy. Ooh. Back to back flashing the Ooh. chains from yeah. Kristen. I mean, you guys aren't just gonna let her walk with this one. I mean, you're only three back, Holland. So what's this one? Is this a little too far for zone? Uh, that actually is a zone. Okay, um, a little straighter one. That's actually a little bit more overstable one. Mm. So that's my Z zone. Um, and since I had a little bit more of a, a short hyzer line. Oh, that's such a good pin from Ona. <laughs> She's just laughing. And I could hear Sai in the background going, I so thought you had that one. Like just rooting her closest competitor on. There it is. A little left side, but it catches. But she's making the plays when she needs to make the plays. I mean, that Kristen's is, right there for is birdie. big time. I mean, the pressure's on. You're close for birdie. Kristen's close. Okay, so Sai is at 19, and... She's going to have three competitors at 16. Wow, I didn't, at the time, this time in the round, I had no idea what the scores were. I didn't realize we were all this close. It's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. You're kind of dwarfing that basket right now, Holland. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of the tall one on the card here. I mean... I don't know. <laughs> I'm tall. <laughs> You're tall. Let's take another look at this putt from Sai. This basket actually like has like some moss just like growing on the pole. I don't know if you noticed what? this one. Yeah, it was like a green pole from Sai's angle right there. That's wild. Yeah, because it's like right there by that retention pond on the old golf course. Okay. and. Yeah, these last few holes are playing kind of around the perimeter of, of that pond, which is off on the right side as we're looking at hole 15, which is a par four, 654 feet. So you kind of want to push something super straight off of the tee, and then you've got a dog leg right late. It's really kind of a, the opposite order of shots kind of of the last hole. You want to get some distance off the tee and then cut something around this corner to get a look at birdie. Probably one of the harder ones to birdie. Yeah, I didn't see many birdies on it throughout the weekend. It is the second hardest hole yeah, and on the course I after 11. I think if you're going to attack it, this line that Kristen's going for is the way to do it. You can do it with a sidearm if you get enough distance, which is what I'm trying to do. And that's an all right spot. Really, the ideal location is a little bit left of there and then far but not pushing the OB to kind of open up the gap we see Sai oh, going just back. barely oh. misses that middle tree I think she meant to go left of that tree left of it and she just yes. skirted right of it and yeah. she just skirted but she flexed around it and she's in a great position Owen actually going to the right of that initial tree and flexing back and she's just a couple feet away from me And you can see it's it's a little tricky to make the corner from this far back. It's probably about 300 feet to the corner, but then you need another 70 feet of right movement. And I'm just getting zero ground play. I'm trying to put a lot of power on this one to get that skip, but it just goes a little too long in the gap. Yeah, tough, kind of tough to really hit the forehand. You really would have to kind of push inside and challenge those, the tree line on the right if you really wanted to park it. Yeah, and we see Kristen getting that one to circle's edge. She had a way more open line and threw a perfect shot, and even that's only circle's edge. Yeah. And then Cy going for this turnover. That's so hard to do with like you can see these branches hang yep. so low, which it's not really a great turnover shot, but she did pretty well considering. Given that, uh I don't know if she was really running that, but a good jump putt layup. 
And Owen's definitely running this. And are you running this one? I am determined to get a zone throw in today. <laughs> Love that. Yeah, I just needed a little more pop on that to really give it an honest bid. And Kristen with a birdie look, a rare birdie look. Yeah, and a little frustration mm. out of Kristen. I mean, that's a big moment right there. She's three back and at the, at the three very... holes to play, you know, if she... Mm -hmm. mm. And at the very least would have gone into solo second had that gone in. Nothing but a four pars for our card. Everyone kind of keeping pace with one another these last few holes. All right, let's check in with our leaderboard. So we've got Sai still leading at 19 down, and then you've got Kristen, myself, and Own all at 16 down, just three strokes back. And the three of us six clear of the next closest competitor, which is Katrina Allen. So we're looking at hole 16, par three, 267 feet. A couple different lines you can go here. Uh, this drone is showing the straight line. You might see some sidearm, some flex forehands going up this gap. There is a nice right side pushing hyzer with either a putter or a mid range as well. And then there is an OB lake on the right side, OB deep and OB left. So we see Kristen going with this low sidearm line. <laughs> you hear Sai in the background going, wow. I mean, she's been cheering for you guys every shot. It's, it's, yeah. it's rare to see someone kind of that vocal about their card mates yeah. throws. Oh, that hurts to watch it again. <laughs> oh, and to hear it again, too. You can just hear it kind of yeah. splat. Yeah. It's like the door is plop, yeah. closing. I had just checked scores on the last hole, so I knew I was in second at that point. And the second that happened, I knew I was in fourth. <laughs> Unfortunately. That was terrible. I mean, you, yeah. you can you walk us through that miss right there? Because it was a pretty big one for you. As, yeah. as we see Sai also kind of pull her shot a little bit yeah i mean every time i've thrown this line i've either pured it or i've actually left it inside including in round two i left it inside mm -hmm. and so i'm thinking you know commit to the width and i just overcommitted to the width and so now we're kind of exploring my options here and i just can't get very good footing down there um I would be kind of in this like mushy kind of muddy spot with not much of a look. So I elect to just re tee this time leaving it. This is more my common miss on the hole and I'm actually flirting with the OB deep. Mm. Yeah, this is, it's tough. You know, it's you, tough. you were in a, you were in a good position and to, to, to miss the tee shot, but then to get that punishment with the kick and it just flies into worst case scenario into the pond. Yeah. And this is my bid to save mm. my bogey and it comes up just short and yeah. Yeah. You can see I was, I was feeling all of it right there. Big moment right here. Circle's edge. There it is. No doubt. I mean, hanging in the the third chain. I like that about the Chainstar Pro. Ah, so committed. I mean, that's how she wins so much is when oh, the pressure's on. No, hold on. Did we just see an own air ball from circle one? 
Yeah, you don't see that too a often. Unicorn right like, there. Once around, maybe. An air ball? You see like a once I've ever around seen it. miss, yeah. maybe. And yeah, to see your air ball, I wonder if she's feeling a little bit of the nerves as well. She must have been on that. I mean, that was to move within two strokes as well. And I mean, we still have a ball game. You've fallen back, but Kristen is within two. Here we go. Just outside the circle. Oh, that nose up pure putt. Doesn't matter that she just missed on the hole before. She's going to have the box heading into the 17th. And this, this is a stroke swing hole. Yeah, easily. So hole 17 is a par 3, 297 feet. We're throwing out of this gap. You need to go either left or right of this tree onto a peninsula green. And so if you're, whichever way you go, backhand or forehand, you really need to hit on uh, one side of the basket and, and stick. Otherwise, um, you can very easily skip into the OB. And so we see Kristen going this backhand line. This looks low. And yeah, mm. yeah, that's the miss you don't want. If you're going that backhand, backhand line and you're going to miss, you need to miss high so that you at least cross in bounce close to the basket. That's a almost guaranteed bogey. Oh, and Cy pulled that one, and I, I think that that tree might have actually helped her. That tree absolutely helped her. That was going straight OB, and she was going to have a tricky approach just to save her bogey. That's kind of what I thought when I saw it. And Own. Wow, what is happening here? Kristen <laughs> goes OB, Own goes OB. That's Cy the, hits a tree and stays safe. This is crazy. That's the miss to make, though. If you're going to miss, she flew over the green. And I've looked at scores now at this point, and I know my only chance to catch own is to go for it. And I was just a few feet too high. But own and I are looking at pretty manageable putts to save our par. Once we take our meter in, it'll be about a 20 footer. And then size, this is not an easy shot to do. She's electing to go hyzer around the tree so she doesn't fade out early with like a patent pending shot. And that's wow, fantastic. what a big moment right there. I mean, she can... Gutsy play out over the OB. Yeah, and she's, she's smiling. She knows she knows what that par save is. And I You mean, feel Chris, like she thinks that's the win right there? I, I think so. I mean, even if Kristen makes this, she's still got a two-stroke lead going into hole 18. That never really had a chance. And so Owen's got this left for her par save. And again, a left side miss. Really rare to see that from Owen at all, let alone two holes in a row. I'm shocked. And I'm looking to bounce back after that double bogey. I know if I make this, I'll actually claw back a stroke from Owen. So still got a little outside chance at uh, at a podium finish here going into 18. As we see Sai clean up the only par. What not a the only tournament par. from Sai. She's going to have three yeah. strokes. Yeah. And I do. If really four is the worst you can kind of take on 18 because if yeah. you miss, you're going straight to a drop zone. Yeah, you're right. I mean, she could almost just throw it in the, almost just put it into the water and, and then still win. And then lay it up. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Here's hole 18, par three, 272 feet. As we were saying, it's kind of a birdie or a bogey hole. Um, mm -hmm. We're throwing over this lake onto an island green. It is slightly uphill, and the OB does come into play pretty quickly if you go past the basket, but there's plenty of room to work short, left, and right. And if you do miss, there's a drop zone that's about a... 55 foot putt and so Cy for her final drive I mean if she puts this on the island that's pretty much it unless someone aces straightens this felon out a little bit and sticks it wow oh, it spins on wow. the ground that was cool I mean that was close to kicking that tree and then rolling back into the water
And I'm going back to this glow buzz, and I'm kind of thinking give it a run. Oh, pretty shot there. Yeah, I'll settle for for an island hit. We see Kristen go in some kind of overstable mid range as well. And she's sitting at circle's edge. see that ace. again how close was that that was so close you know, funny that's the that's the actual same disc she aced with earlier in this tournament she's trying to ring up a second one just for the crowd that lightweight destroyer from emily beach what a putt Kristen tatar finishing off her tournament with a birdie to move to 17 under and so Sai just just has to lay this one up she will be crowned Silver Series champion here on the Disc Golf Pro Tour. She looks like she's lining this one up to run it. You think she knows the scores? I mean, I would she's hope so. She's sending it. Maybe she just wanted a, a big finish in front of the crowd. Oh, look at her. She's so happy. I mean, I can't think of, you know, two people I would want more to celebrate a win with than Kristen and, uh, and Owen. I mean, so, so genuinely excited for her. And you could tell just how much this really meant to her. I mean, yeah. I had the pleasure of interviewing her for the Disc Golf Network, and she had me, she had me very emotional, just wow. totally opening up and talking about you guys and just what an honor it was. She was so humble and said the first, the first word she used to describe her victory was gratitude. Um, yeah, a new star is born here in Sayananda. I mean, really, all weekend, it was Sayananda in the lead. You know, she played three solid rounds. Her putting, her putting from 30 feet and out was incredible. And, I mean, that's what you got to do to close down a tournament these days. <laughs> and she didn't even know she needed to go get her trophy. That's so cute. All right, you're in a open 2023 Texas State champ, Sayananda. <laughs> Congratulations, Sai. Oh, well the, earned. I got the chills. This is awesome. Yeah. What, what a great tournament. And I just love disc golf so much. I mean, she's she's just overjoyed. Yeah, so great to and see. And she cashes it. She didn't even need to make that putt, and she sends it home. Well, you don't want to be the one that ruins Look a star frame. Look at her. For the win. What? Love FPO disc golf. Everyone's so supportive. Everyone rooting for each other, even while we're competing. All right, Ty, are you ready? Up yeah, high. Let's go. Yeah, you did it. I did it. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. What does it feel like to be a champion on the disc golf pro tour? Honestly, I'm just filled with so much gratitude for the people that support me and for the people that encourage me and for everyone that, that rooted for me in like my amateur career and in my junior career and all the people back home that believe in me so much and they send me messages even when I'm having a bad round. They give me encouraging phrases and stuff like that. And so I'm just, I'm just filled with so much gratitude. Wow. Uh, so I want to take you, take us both back to uh, hole seven. Okay. Your, your second bogey of the entire tournament you three putt. Yeah. You missed that short 
maybe 18 foot putt. What's going through your mind when that putter hits the ground? And from my perspective, it looked like you started feeling some nerves. What were you feeling then? Don't freak out, don't freak out, don't freak out, don't freak out. <laughs> like the pressure has been there almost the entire tournament. You know what I mean? Like I, I am competing with some of the best female disc golfers in the world. And if there are strokes to be gotten, you have to assume that they're going to fight for every single one. So when I made that error, I think I was definitely obviously feeling the nerves a little bit. It's kind of weird when the nerves come. Sometimes it's not always on hole one. Sometimes it's not always hole 18. I think yesterday it was hole 16 that I really like started to feel the nerves and had to overcome. So in that moment, I just really tried to reset and step back from my, my emotions a little bit and just try to execute the putts that I know that I've been executing all weekend and, and all year. And I really just tried to reassure myself that I am also one of the top players in this division as well and just kind of tried to just move forward and execute my game plan as best as possible. Well, you're certainly going to have to start including yourself in that list, Cy. And I want to ask you, you seem to be playing chess all weekend. You you laid up quite a few putts. Um, I, I want to know, were, were you aware of the scores throughout the entirety of this final round? Um, no, I wasn't. I it's tricky checking the scores. You know, I want to be a player that can check the scores and then just perform like a like a bad like a badass or whatever. But mm -hmm. um, sometimes I just need to I just need to focus on executing one shot at a time, executing and focusing on each throw in front of me. And I know that if I can put each throw together on every hole, I'm going to accomplish a good round. And if I accomplish a good round, and someone accomplishes a better round than me made the best player win. And that was kind of the mentality I had going into the round. I mean, Kristen Tatar is such a phenomenal putter, such a phenomenal person, and such a phenomenal golfer. Owen Scoggins, I look up to. She's absolutely ridiculous on the putting green and her forehand. And Holland is just an exceptional player as well. So I just told myself to focus, play my game, you know, execute those layups that I made choices, you know, days ago that I'm going to lay up these shots. and. I just told myself, you know, may the, bless, may the best player win and just execute my game plan as much as possible. Well, speaking of layups, uh, taking us to the 18th, we were all expecting you to lay that one up under the basket for the win, and then you went ahead and cashed it anyway. Can you talk to us about that? Fear. Um, <laughs> absolute fear. I was like, I, I cannot leave a stroke for Kristen at all. Like, if, if I leave her an opportunity to tie it up, and then we go to a playoff. I was like, I don't know if I can handle that. I don't know if I can handle that, but I think I can handle this putt. So it was like, you know, stuck between a rock and a hard place. And I had to choose which, which difficulty I wanted to put myself up against. And so I figure I've been making good putts all weekend. And if I can just kind of close the door, as they say, I wanted to go for it. And so I just tried to bet on myself. I just tried to trust myself and, and hope that it goes in. Right. And it was a beautiful putt to close it out and just hugs around from your card mates. And you, you guys kept it light all tournament long. What, what's it like playing with competitors that you're just continuously rooting for each other throughout the round, even in the most tense moments? I, I absolutely love it. The, the women in disc golf are wonderful and encouraging. And it's honestly just absolute dream to be here competing with these players and just to have them be so kind and be so encouraging and just to be such like genuinely nice people you know it's i'm competing i'm competing against them but i'm also competing with them kind of to a certain degree so it feels absolutely amazing to play on such wonderful cards and still have that competitive edge still we're all trying so hard to execute every putt and it's it's definitely sincere, but not serious, you know, if that makes sense. Yeah, very cool. Well, thank you so much for sharing, and congratulations on your first Disc Golf Pro Tour victory. And what's next for you? Um, well, I actually get to go home for about four weeks. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. And then I start my season up again in May with the Santa Cruz Masters Cup. So I'm going to take a brief hiatus, head home, and recharge myself and get some practice putts in and play some local courses. I'm really excited to go home and, and play some local courses and get back to my putting league and stuff like that and just see my boyfriend and to see my mom and to see my family who support me so much and encourage me so much. And I, I also just wanted to say thank you so much to my dad who is traveling with me this year and he's carrying all my wet towels today and stuff like that. And 
um, yeah, just so much gratitude. Thank you so much to West Side Discs for giving me this opportunity. It means the world to me. Um, and yeah, just, just so much gratitude. Thank you, just so much love and, and thanks to everyone who supports me. Yeah, big thanks to Central Coast Disc Off for covering both FPO and MPO lead cards from this Silver Series event. And thanks so much for joining me, Holland. It's really been an honor to uh, sit down and commentate the, the action. Yeah, thanks for having me. Let's take a look at our final leaderboard, Sayananda Yura, 2023 Texas States winner. And then we've got Kristen and Owen filling out second and third. I'm taking fourth. And then we've got Katrina and Jessica both at 10 down to take fifth place. 